All right, hello, D class. We are we are here. All right. So. Oh. Oh. Game but, hello, dragon. Hello. Hello, child. Hello. All I'm gonna say is Dragon's probably not gonna understand what I'm gonna be talking about as my first words. <laughs> if they haven't read what happened earlier. Uh, where would I read? And oh, family right. support. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a... I think you... Point. I think you posted something about a history test right after. No, not a history test. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually pretty funny. Project. Project, yeah. Oh, because how the fuck do you mess it up so bad that it goes from chapter one to chapter three, and the thing that you I have to do is in chapter two, and it's not there, <laughs> and it is due Monday, and I can't turn it in because it's not there, it is non-existent. Yeah. Everyone right. knows in Florida we can't count past three or two three. There's not even a chapter under three. It's just one three. Oh, huh. all right. So. What happened to book nine? Um, basically, uh, after what my what my parents told me is that after they came back to the house, they found book nine sitting on the stove in a burning crisp and saw a note next to it. Now I decided to write it down on my phone so I don't forget because I was unthinking fully straight, obviously. Yeah. So, here's what the note said. 1 through 8 have failed to stop them. I from 9 have accepted my fate and decided to bur burn along with them. My only request I ask of you is never create anything from Book 9 again. Redesigning won't bring them back, but tread closely if you decide that path. I hope my passing helps you live. Creator. Uh. And they, Bruh. my parents just thought that was just some druggie got inside the house somehow. And so I called <laughs> the police. And they took the note, so I don't have the actual note. But they, that is what was all that was on that note. Eesh. And that's and actually like, how yeah. And like, do you remember burning the book? Uh, no. I have no memory of burning the book. We we okay, came home yes. to it burned. <laughs> I was with them. Oh, wait, you were with them? Yeah, when we came home, I... I, I, I yeah. So... <laughs> I think your house might be haunted. Well, the old or you house, have a we security don't problem. In, we don't have that house anymore. It was sold. Oh. So that's actually what happened to book nine. I don't know what happened oh. to book one through eight. But they've also gone missing that a very day. And that's actually how I got book ten. That I'll be searching for tomorrow because I forgot. Why are you searching for it? Well, like, I did... here's this nightmare fuel. I'm searching for the other nightmare fuel. Well, if it's just as bad as the others, I'm just gonna toss it out. But I doubt it. Because it did say redesigning it won't, you know, bring them back, but tread carefully? I don't know. I'm not sure what to think of that letter. Tread carefully probably means don't do it too close to the original design. Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably fair. Do not turn off your Talking about Nightmare Fuel so casually. 
Actually, yeah, what's your thought of this? About the letter. See, that's the thing. Based upon, like, my initial thoughts, I was thinking that, like, given the things surrounding this, that, like, you had burned them and then repressed the memory, I didn't know that you just weren't at the house when it happened. Mm -hmm. In which case, that's just fucking creepy as hell. Yeah, it was, it was very, yeah, I had to go get myself McDonald's this morning to calm myself down from hearing all of that, because that is probably the most terrifying experience I have ever witnessed. <laughs> like, I, I going yeah. like, going along with the theme from Babysitter of there being a squatter, I, I imagine just, like, some squatter comes in your house. Looks looks through your shit, sees that, and it's like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking puts it on the stove and poetically writes it, a, a a thing that's basically just a a a special way of saying this is fuck. You know what's actually funny? I can probably read that as as a sort of story for the horror story stream. Yeah, <laughs> straight up, I, I, like, at a couple points, I felt like I was reading a creepypasta. Yeah, that's why I learned about such a message, like, shit. this is not a creepypasta, this is actually real. <laughs> like, uh... To be fair, I've had, like, way creepier things happen in real life. But yeah. those little ghost things. But this is a ghost thing. I guess it still counts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we thought that we had to get use the this uh, use the crystal to buy the chainsaw, but it says, "Look, where it says it says, look like there's something missing here. Maybe it needs something to power it back on. Maybe the crystal goes here." I'm not sure if everyone was here for that. I was not here for that. Neither was I. Okay, so... Can I steal a minigun from the chopper? No. So, yeah. Probably. <laughs> what? Probably. <laughs> Don't encourage this. Well, it's a video game. I'm only encouraging it in a video game, not in real life. It's bright. Well, yeah. It's bright we're talking about. She will apply everything game. to real life. Time to beat this woman. Well, bright <laughs> is... She may be a chaotic and violent woman, but I'm only encouraging violence in the video game. Yeah, no. but just just saying that she can do it, she'll just immediately take that and say, Oh, okay. I can do it everywhere. Did no one hear what I said? Yes. Yes, yes you're talking we did. about beating another woman. <laughs> it's just like, it's just dodged me to say that. Time to beat this woman. <laughs> uh. Look, Is if you're bad? both violent women, I don't care if you beat each other up. <laughs> Is it bad that I think I'm high on drugs while flying a helicopter? Maybe. Yes. Eh. Nothing bad's happened so far. Uh, well, if you die, you won't feel anything. So, yeah, Dragon, what do you feel about that letter? Because you probably had no idea what was going on. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? That's... Um... Oh, this is making me nauseous. Are you gonna do, like, ghost stories or something on Halloween? Well, I already had a three games planned, so... Oh... Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, plus we kind of decided to just, uh, say to hell with doing another scary story stream until I get my ass in gear and finish some stories as well as, uh, proofread Bright's second chapter. Mm -hmm. I always thought scary stories were different than ghost stories, though. Because not all ghost stories are scary. Yeah, that's fair. 
And oh, to excited. me, ghosts, like, ge in general, ghosts feel so normalized because I grew up around them. Hmm. But I just find them as terrifying as a door most of the time. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If you see a door every day, do you find it scary? If you, no, if yeah. I see a ghost often enough, do you think I find it scary? Aren't doors rumors rumored like if you have two doors right in front of each other, and you look through both of them, aren't they like, aren't they said to be like portals? What? The fuck you talking about? I don't know, but like the ghost shit portals. Not I'll... actually. Teleporting. Right, not me, the guard. Have you been on Reddit? No. Oh, fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Have you? No. We've just been kind of rambling about all sorts of stuff while Bright's over here desperately fighting the level one boss. I'm fighting my ex girlfriend. Level one enemy. The fuck? Your ex? Well, okay, number one, why did you date her? Number two, what did she do to deserve that? <laughs> why are you slowly beating her to death? Uh, number three, incredibly why? Incredibly slowly. Number three, why is she hopped up on cocaine or some shit? <laughs> oh, wait, on a, on a talcum powder. Slash Viagra dust. <laughs> wait, I can't say that, the child's here, fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. So... Okay, good, don't look it up. Okay, good. How the fuck do you... Uh, okay, you know, I'm not gonna question it. Good. Maybe I just didn't hear what you said, but... I heard no, what I'm fine with that. Citizen, if you are hearing this tape, tell the world that we knew it has finished. Unless you said angel dust, I, would, I know what that is. Welcome to Unlocked, no. where Sidi is a single modified one of three model. Please report this machine to your local police officer at once. Do you want to hear some dumb Twitter shit? Sure. <laughs> A bit, I've, been, I've been avoiding Twitter for a while. Might as well hurt my brain a little. Okay, so it's it's <sighs> okay. So this was one weird guy on Twitter, and he's pretty like decently uh, popular. He's like a four thousand following. Uh, but he's like he's fucking weird, and has done a lot of fucking weird shit. Uh, so I called him out on it. Not only just me, but like some other people. Um, I, I don't know how to put it into words because it's just this guy's so fucking just. Jesus Christ, I think he needs to go outside sometime. Just, I, I think he needs to, just to sign off of Twitter and just. Are you just in a loop of fighting? Right. <laughs> fighting more of my ex girlfriends. How many do you have? Nine. Nine? You counted? Five. Why do you have so many? What did you do? Cause no, this just feels like it's not even the day he broke up with you or something. What did you do to all of these girls? Uh, they all did, uh, something called cheating. Oh. Oh. I was guessing it was the copious amount of illicit drug abuse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. So fuck. Oh. Either way, um, okay, what the fuck? What? I need to find all of the shrines so that I can blow them the fuck up. Holy shit. Holy but like shit. this guy annoyed me, and I was just gonna block him and move on. But he annoyed the fuck out of me, so I made an entire thread calling out his weird ass behavior and shit, and the fact that he is making weird like fetish and NSFW shit in a fandom full of 
uh, minors. That is a medium, like the game is a medium targeted at all ages, but especially kids. And I called him out on it. Uh, but I called him cishet, and he was like, um, did you actually, uh, actually, I'm not cis, I'm trans? And I'm like, okay, I don't give a fuck. He's a, he's a fucking, uh, trans het guy. So it's just like, okay, you're still a guy. You're still a man that fetishizes lesbians, because the only ship that he ships are straight ones and lesbian ones. And he claims that he just likes the artwork, but there are so many more, like, there are three times more, like, men loving men ships and sh uh, fan art of those ships than there are lesbian ones. So it's just like... Mm. Uh, I had to screenshot this because uh, of a certain number. I'm not going to say why. <laughs> eh. No, you have to get them all. You have to get the numbers all the same. Then it's, it's that's that's pretty much physically impossible since I don't think they can use MP right now. That is fair. How the fuck? How how in this hellhole do you use MP? Bullets. What? Bullets use MP? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> If you don't know, if you don't know what, just don't say something like that with such sincere certainty in your voice. Wait, I just realized guard and there's a guard in my physical and there's a guard right under physical. Yeah. Easy access, I guess. Just in case you need to double guard. The basic guard reduces damage by... The, the basic guard I'm gonna die. reduces damage quite a bit, but the double guard, uh, the, the double guard actually negates the first guard, so you take full damage. No. Uh, the weirdest thing about the dude is the fact that even though in my thread I said, hey, don't harass anyone mentioned in this thread, just block him and move on, um, he didn't say it when he took a screenshot of it and posted it publicly to his 4,000 followers. And guess who got harassed? By grown-ass adults. I fucking hate the twi- uh, I'll hate the internet. But I think the worst part is the fact that he blocked me, but he keeps taking screenshots of my shit up obviously about him. Even though I've only tweeted out, like, publicly on my own Twitter account, like, twice. Because he's just a fucking weirdo on the internet. And, but he just annoys the fuck out of me. But, like... <laughs> He's- No, because the weirdest part is he looks up his whole name, I'm pretty sure, because there are several people that are calling him out. Because he's yeah. a fucking weirdo. And he's- he keeps responding to him, and it's all like different ages, because at first he was like, Oh, it's all these kids being immature and saying that, oh, and it's- it's like, dude. No. I was 18. Like, I knew I was gonna die. This is a, this is a grown man. In art school. Saying this shit, it's like, dude, get a life! You have shit to do! Like, damn! I, I knew I was gonna die, because... They, they, every time I used that physical attack, it had a 50-50 chance of hitting, instead of just yeah. hitting. Why are you going back in there? Because I have to get a key! I think it's something that's past this lady. Yes, time to murder my ex-girlfriend. Wait, oh Ruby, no, there's two uh, of them. Uh, they, uh, they, they're unionizing, get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend's Your unionizing. Your girlfriend's unionizing! Oh god, no! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> but like, this fucking, there we this go. dude, there we go. badass. Oh. But this dude deadass said that he can't fetishize lesbians because he's never drawn any lesbian relationships and is a trans headman. And it's like, my brother what? is a fucking spaghetti monster above. You are a man, a heterosexual man. That only Why do you like call himself a trans headman? Huh? If he's a cis man, why do you call him so? Trans. Oh, he, he's he's trans. He's a trans heterosexual man. Oh, okay then. Now the the child messed up at first. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure trans hat is correct. Like, he's trans and... No, you messed up by calling him sis. Did I? Mean. I? Yes. Yeah, at, oh. at first you okay. said that you called him a cis hat male. Yeah, I accidentally called him a cis hat man, because... Why the fuck would I look that deep into some annoying ass bastard online or give a shit? I mean, is it in his. What? what no. What, was it in his. Uh, nope. Profile? No? Nope. No pronouns, uh, just the male symbol. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's one of those fuckers. What, 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 what does that mean? Annoying people. <laughs> I have never not seen someone that just uses one of the sex symbols that it like is trans that is proud of the fact that they're trans and have just the sex symbol in their the bio. They're usually just annoying. Yeah. Or oddly turfy despite being trans. It 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 seems commonly as if they want to avoid the conservative stigma around having pronouns in bio. Even though it's just generally a very useful thing. Yeah, like, pronouns are just a part of language. Like, damn. Like, it's it's literally just, like, inc an incredibly convenient way to make it clear what pronouns you use. It's, it's not difficult. Not only that, but my friend called him out for us, uh, like, obviously not... Like, obviously being, like, uh, posting my thread that I deleted because I was getting harassed. Putting it on his, uh, publicly for his 4,000 followers. Uh, called him out for it and that it could very well get me in trouble as, like, a minor and shit. Like, getting doxxed because, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, uh. the internet is horrible. Um, and he was, like... He, he not First, he blocked my friend, so my friend couldn't even see his reply. But then he replied to my friend going... No need to pull the minor card, despite pulling the trans card, after I accidentally called him a cis man. Not to, not to mention the fact that this same person, uh, was apparently, like, mo like, mo like, acting as if the only people criticizing them were children. Yes, in a fandom that is, guess what, targeted at kids, because it's a a game for 12 year olds and up. And not only that, no, cause I think the weirdest fucking part of that, about this guy is, so there's this one character in Cookie Run, cause this is a fucking Cookie Run fan artist. I feel like, ugh, that fucking, tw the Twitter fandom of Cookie Run is actual ass. But, yeah. so there's this one character called Pastry Cookie and she's very, very obviously based off of Christian sisters. Uh, and he, not only ships a ship between her and this guy who literally despise each other and disagree on like a moral level that I of e each other existing and try to kill each other, uh, but he draws her in a very uh, obviously like over sexualized way and like, draws her in stuff that's like, for her being a canonically re really religious woman, is like, hey bro, that's kind of fucking weird, man. Like, that's, like, she's, she represents, like, an actual, like, type of religion shit, man. Like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, Chew shouting like that, hey in chat. No. Oh. Hello. Hi, Chew. But not only that, he also ships, uh, he only draws sh straight ships, and they're not even fucking good ones either. He only ships them for toxic reasons. Like, them actually abusing uh, each other. hold on. Uh, Dra Chew says, Dragon, stop talking about sexualization in chat. Bad. And he doesn't even censor any of it either. He only once. just recently started censoring it. And it's like, ugh. Yeah, again, like that that's that's again like my general stance on this. Like, I would be fine with this if they were just doing content warnings. Yeah. Like it like like you can you can do what you wanna do, you know do toxic ships whatever you know it's fiction just make it clear to people that might not want to see that 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 is a part of this post that you're doing not only that it's, it's not hard not only that he also ships two characters like he mo posts the most art about this one ship and one of the characters is like pomegranate cookie i feel like jerry knows who that is but she is very obviously lesbian coded 
pomegranate cookie? Yeah. And he ships her with a man. Not only that, but also constantly posts about her abusing the said guy. And oh, even... yeah, pomegranate cookie, looking her up. I remember her now. She's yeah. uh, totally in love with the evil queen cookie thing. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get why you picked that crazy lady, but I, I guess you do you. But he ships those. Uh, he ships those two as his main thing. Like, no, I think the weirdest part is one of his art got select selected by the game uh, on Instagram itself, like the game's Instagram. Uh, but the thing is, they chose one piece of art, and it was literally pomegranate just like beating the living fuck out of licorice, and like cropped it so it was that one image, and it's just her beating the living fuck out of him. And it's like, dude. They do not support that shit. They don't- I don't think they see it that you are shipping those two. I think they see it as pomegranate is beating the living fuck out of someone she hates, canonically. Yeah, she's in love with Dark and Tantris, right? Yeah. Like, that ship- that ship isn't really fucking good, cause it's like... No, both of but, them are toxic people. What are you, what are you expecting? Yeah, fair point. But it's, it, I don't know. It's like they're canonically together, but they're both canonically evil. I, I don't I, think. I think it's not even. I don't think it's a mutual pining thing. I think it's just. Uh, it's just on pomegranate's end. I, I think we, I like how we switch from one evil to the next. <laughs> I like how we can all agree, like, this guy's just fucking awful. Ugh. Okay, if my oh, theory yeah. is correct, crystal move from inventory. Communicator is now powered on. Yes! I was right! I was right! Hello, come in, Founda SCP Foundation. Come in. Is that you, Officer Monroe? Yes, I need your help. One month later... Today, we take control of this hellhole and avenge our brothers in arms. Yeah, who? Company advance. Okay, that was a lot quicker. That only took 41 minutes. Oh. And most of that time, we were just talking about Book 9. <laughs> yeah, the majority of that was spent rambling about Twitter. And, and Book, book 9. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, both Chu and Bookworm missed uh book nine. Oh yeah, has Jerry seen my new overlay stuff? Probably not. Uh well you get to see my intermission. If you see chat, a uh, twitch and all that. It looks trippy as heck. Looks but uh, I, I know was... what it stands for, and I'm still I still prefer the SCP Foundation, but I can't exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the chat box. Yeah. No, there is one game hatchet we can't talk about with the child. Oh. Uh, it was the flesh game, remember? Oh god. Uh huh. <laughs> what? I don't want to know. I have already experienced enough curse shit. I don't want to know. Flesh plants. There were flesh plants. Oh. Why did you just put all capitals noodles? So, uh, Momo sent you a ha hatch wheat gift almost two weeks ago, and Steam didn't tell me. Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, so let me just go to here. Go here. Go. What? What do you mean? I still haven't tried Overwatch 2. I downloaded Overwatch 2 because it was free. 
And I it's still not worth it. it. It's pretty much pay to win. Well, not pay to win, but like pay for every fucking thing in the game if you want any cosmetics, because they removed the free loot boxes and loot boxes in general, and replaced it with a battle pass. Do, do I care about cosmetics? Fair point. Oh, and all the characters, and if then... you didn't have Overwatch 1, all the characters are locked, and you have to play the game and grind the game for the other characters. Okay. And it apparently takes a long ass fucking time. And they also locked certain characters behind the battle pass. I mean, even then, it's only 10 bucks. Fair. I don't know. From all the shit that I've heard, it's just. It's just not worth it. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I, I know. It. I'm oh, fine. Wait has been playing it a lot, and they're having fun, and I want to try it. Did Bam. EA or Activision make that game? Activision Blizzard. Okay, that makes sense. Apex, I think Apex Legends was made by EA. A child is present. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's, what's, what's the game? The Babysitter. It's Oh yeah, I also gotta change the things. The butt buddy babysitting experience. Uh, wait, you're saying experience this time? <laughs> what did I say before? You said butt buddy, uh, the butt buddy babysitting service. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna say experience because it's even better. <laughs> uh. I don't want to be associated with this. <laughs> I have a feeling you don't have much of a choice. Experience. Right. What? You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> you have a lawyer? You can afford a lawyer? No, Plus he this. doesn't. Festus, I need your help. <laughs> as, as we all know, Festus is a, a graduate of law school at UC Berkeley in New Jersey. Oh, uh, yes, Berkeley. UC Berkeley. I don't think that's a thing for a college. Wait. And obviously New Jersey isn't a state. <laughs> I, I love Chu's message. Why would you, you sit on, on babies? Or go near them at all, or even have them. <laughs> I actually do want children. Fuck you, dragon. I'm not dragon. It's Pika. What did I do? <laughs> Fuck you, child. Get out of here. Bright wants children. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Wait. Oh God, that does sound wrong. Never mind. Huh? <laughs> I, I don't want to know. I was not fully paying attention. I just heard "fuck you" Good. and then. Just... Good. Good. We're leaving it at that. <laughs> anyway, new game. We're, we're we're lucky today. The child's the, the the child's attention span is lapsing. I I have I just lost even more respect for your bright. I had to read for it. You bright as you were. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chew. <laughs> Wait, what? Why why is Chew losing respect for you? Because I want a child. That's Probably. really stupid. <laughs> Haven't we known for a while that she's wanted kids? Yeah. Oh. Are we gonna read through all of this again? I mean, if we want to. We don't have to, because we already did it once. I mean, we did, but we've got two people here that... Oh, yeah didn't see it. <laughs> Chu. Hi, Hatchet. I'm Chu. Nice to meet you. Yes, Chu. I know you're stupid. That doesn't that doesn't make it invalid for me to continually say it when you're stupid. Wait, I got something I can use right now. Oh yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I... <laughs> Fuck, that's the wrong one. <laughs> you clicked the wrong one, you clicked thank you, Hatchet. 
there. Urge to my people rising. <laughs> and just for good measure. Bonk gadget. <laughs> Auto bonk. <laughs> Damn it, bookworm. <laughs> Yes, Bookworm will be the dedicated suppressor of Chew Urges. <laughs> now I can't bite people. <laughs> this this is good. So we have Bookworm to make sure Chew doesn't bite while we continually bonk him. It's a good system. <laughs> I just imagine this where we're just hitting him with a baseball bat. Just Bookworm just goes over and pets Chew and makes us happy. <laughs> I mean, when you Please think about, about it, head pads... Of... When you think about it, head pads are just a, a kind bonk. Okay, wait. No, because you know what it reminds me when you said hit Pika with a bat? It reminds me of, like, Smash Bros, where P you can hit, the, uh, hit Pikachu, <laughs> like, really hard with the, the, the super bat. I think that's what it's called. I, I could be wrong. I'm probably very wrong, but yeah. hit Pika with the super bat, and then he just goes fucking flying. <laughs> and just the announcer just goes, K.O. I don't think that would work against a Saiyan Pikachu. Yeah, no, he would go faster. Hey, Hatchu, you're gonna like the home run bat, you noob. Oh, oh yeah, it is home uh, run. Hey, Hatchet, oh, look at the message above that. You're gonna like it. You're offering my. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, bookworm. Oh yeah, stream can't uh, see it because I turned chat box off because the game's big. Uh, I don't know how to say the first name, but I know how to say Fenrir. Tear. Tear? Okay. Yeah, Tear. I God am of justice and law. Uh, I am Tear. Off offering my hand to Fenrir to bite. <laughs> yeah. I... Alright. Now, I guess I'll get into my voice that uh, I think Jury will like. Oh. This suburb, Whitefield Groves, is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in the city. But it's on the outskirts of town, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. This house, like all of the other houses in this neighborhood, is set apart, apart from its neighbors. This sure is a nice place, with a well-maintained lawn and a pool, although at this hour, it does seem a little foreboding. Oh yeah, um, I think I was gonna say, this time I will voice the mother. Okay. Because I have realized I have the perfect voice to do for her. Cindy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and, and and this time I'm gonna make the dad Nixon. Ah, uh, that's perfect. I like Ronald choose. Why? Choose for Ronald Reagan. <laughs> what did you what say? What the fuck is Nixon's name? I forget. You... Richard Nixon. Richard oh, Nixon. Yeah. Dick Rissa, uh... <laughs> what did you just Dick say? Nixon. What? Drake Nixon. That's gonna be clipped. Drake Drake Noxon. <laughs> Drunk Norxon. <laughs> Hello, President Drunk Norxon. How how many ways can we mispronounce Nixon's name? I, I was I thought of one, but I cannot say in front of the child. Dick Dixon? Uh, no. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I don't know what your idea is. I'm just saying. If 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 if, if you came up with something that basic, you would be able to say it in front of the child. Yeah, be more basic, <laughs> bitch. Oh be my like the, god! They're adults that were harassing me. Be really fucking basic. Damn. Basic ass bitch. The hatchet look in Twitch chat. Dick <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's not even <laughs> what I accidentally said. <laughs> Don't let the child in Twitch chat now. 
I'm already on Twitch chat. You saw nothing. I'm fucking with you, I'm not even on the Twitch. <laughs> I'm listening to a fucking Perlina playlist. That sure says I hope so finish. Sad. Why'd they make the, the why did they make the fish lesbians so sad? The cep the cephalopods so sad. <laughs> it sure the says... relationship isn't even sad. Hold on, Dragon. Wait, sure says I'll finish you on the shadow realm. Sure he hasn't done anything. <laughs> also, why did you say Bans Hatchet? Also, child, did you what what are you talking about where you go from fish lesbian to cephalopod lesbian? They both work. They are both sea creatures. Uh, they're both no, different no. kinds of sea creatures. Oh my god. You mean the no, fish I... lesbian or the cephalopod? Well, technically, okay, the fish lesbian thing is a reference to this one article that said everyone that plays Splatoon is uh, dressing up like gay fish people. What? Okay, but what character are you talking about? Uh, Pearl and Marina. Their ship name is Perlina. I see. They're not fish. Yeah, they're fucking cephalopods. Yeah. So why did you start out by saying fish lesbian? Because I can say what the fuck I want. Fuck you. I mean, there's That's a reference fine. to the article that called Splatoon fashion gay fish people. I, I, I did nothing. I did nothing. The fuck? Right. <laughs> I'm How dare I'm you? I'm not anything on Discord. <laughs> What I'm happened? not even right. going to look to see what she did. Right timed me out on Twitch for literally no reason. <laughs> <laughs> the reason? Horny bitch. That, you can't say that! Oh, shit. I feel like the word horny... Anyway, let's actually uh, stop talking about... Excited. Let's just talk. <sighs> stop talking about this shit and let's get back to the game. Right, I get it. I get you. Dap. Dap. <laughs> no, because how is Pika younger than you, Bright? <laughs> That's the fucking... <laughs> shush. Actually, is that Pika younger than you? I'm pretty sure Pika is younger. Anyway, Dragon, shush. Well, real quick. The final thing I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted by a random timeout on t Twitch chat <laughs> uh, is... You see, that's the thing, child. You can say whatever you want. But I have a right to point out when you're stupid. Saying fish lesbian stupid. Yes, that's stupid. Because you're talking about cephalopods. They're extremely... Oh, what are you, a marine biologist, huh? Yes. No, I just have a very basic understanding of taxonomy, you fucking... I know don't. that they're not the same thing, but it's funny to say fish lesbian. No, it's not. It's Chew's just inaccurate. calling you a nerd. Yes, I know Chew's calling me a nerd. It's just Look, inaccurate. Stop being, stop for no reason. You can only call the fish lesbians fish lesbians. Don't call the cephalopod lesbians fish lesbians. That's disrespectful to both parties. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> sure, he just in instantly breaks up the argument. <laughs> there we go uh, into silence. Well, I guess I kind of listened to the argument and then I finished the argument. You know, I really wish polymorph was an, a spell in real life. Anyway, uh, bef before Dragon talks anymore, uh, Bookworm says, Dad Jiri laying down the law. Joke's on you. I don't have a reference for what a good father is. <laughs> what? I kind of feel a little worried now. What Twitter poll? Chu says, I am now displeased with my Twitter poll. <laughs> Are y'all turning into the fucking Joker? Maybe. <laughs> the fuck is the Twitter poll? I haven't been on Twitter, and I don't want to go back on there. 
Oh, okay. I, I have good news. I have good news. Uh, I cannot get rabies anymore. What? Uh, I've been vaccinated with the rabies vaccine. I can't that get doesn't, rabies. That doesn't mean you can't get it. <laughs> that's not how that. That's not how that works. <laughs> you. You. You are what anti-vaxxers think doctors are. Okay, but on all seriousness, my dog did get vaccinated. I we did take her to behind a uh, behind a IHOP. There was this little this thing that goes around. Yes, you uh, can link the the tweet too. You can link it. Also, I did nothing. But there's you... this. But there's this um. There's like this little like it's I guess I, I think it's like a family-owned business thing, but they go around and they vaccinate people's dogs. It's really fucking expensive. Like I think it costs like over a hundred dollars to get my dog vaccinated, with or for rabies. Uh, since we're planning on taking her more uh, more often to dog parks, like whatever the fuck that uh, dogs can get from sneezing on each other, that oh. uh, I think it's like a, 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 a M disease that is specific to dogs. Uh, Bright, you're still in intermission. If you didn't. Uh, I, I know, because I was, I was waiting until I can actually, you know, continue the game. Continue, after. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Twitter poll from Chu. I Once voted I yes. I get free time and overall ability to stream. Should I stream yeah. myself playing Resident Evil, a DLC, indifferent? Because I will not be watching that. I'm avoiding spoilers. That's fair. Also, uh,. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's actually let's actually do what we're supposed to be doing here. Also, I voted yes. Chew. That's the correct answer, right? No, the obvious <laughs> answer is Pika funny. should be, do shiny hunting. Oh dear God, that's misery. <laughs> I want to see Pika lose his mind. Trying to find a shiny Pikachu that only does is turn it slightly more orange. There's no correct oh. answer. It's a poll. <laughs> Child, I'm pretty. I'm. I'm pretty sure all you would have to do to see Chu lose his mind is just continually talk to him for long enough. Also, uh, it took me two years to get all the shinies from uh, Pokemon Moon. You have them all. Yeah. Jesus. Why like would an you entire do shiny that? deck? Huh? What was that, Dragon? You have an entire shiny dex? Yeah, what about it? Jesus Christ. And you caught them all? Yeah. Doesn't that mean you have like both? You have sun and moon? Because for an entire pokedex you would have to have- Oh yeah, I do have sun, so yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. There's also- Wait, who's voting Jiren and who and who should I who should be bonked? Wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> I did a Twitch poll where I said who should oh, be I bonked. Didn't even notice this. It's Chu, Bright, Hatchet, Jiri, no one. And people are voting Jiri. <laughs> How is Chu <laughs> not getting much of any votes? Actually, let's all vote for Chu right now. <laughs> There's two. There's two hundred sixty-six votes on Jerry. <laughs> why do I? Why do I deserve to get bombed? You are more. There have been more than. You have more than twice as many votes as Bright for getting bonked. That's hilarious. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> what was, this is funny. <laughs> I guess now you're gonna have to make a a, a bonk cheery redeem. <laughs> I feel like no one would use it though. That's, That's fair. No one would. Or use everyone it. would use it. That's fair too. Like cheery would have the most common sense take, and everyone will fucking spam it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Again, I like I... I said earlier, head pats are just affectionate bonks. Actually, <laughs> if you okay, actually if you. Th think about it. Technically, if you bonk hard enough, that is also a sign of affection. What? I, I still suggest if we all vote for Chu, that they would be the one that wins. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I can change my vote. I didn't realize I can do that. 
I, I changed it to chew. Good job. People are still voting Jerry. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder oh, how I... many points Bookworm will have contributed to this when it's done. Oh, uh, uh, it's stopped. I think they're stopping at 420. Uh, uh yeah, that, that makes sense. We just gotta get Chew past 420. Um, I, I, th I think Pika knows about this, but I don't know if Bright knows. Bright, fun fact, in the new Pokemon game, there are 18 badges. Okay, I really don't care. Oh. Why do they have 18 badges? Uh, because there's the main badges that you get by playing a regular, uh, like, playthrough. But in that same file, you can get the other amount of badges by just doing alt, uh, like, alternative shit. Alternate routes. But you can do all, like, this stuff in one playthrough. Which people are weirdly enough complaining about, even though it's like... Why? Isn't I that, really like, don't a good care. thing? Anyway, let's get back to the game. But we're voting for Chu. Shush. We're it's engaging in democracy. Bullying. Shush. It's just Everyone about... knows democracy is bullying. What? what? Yeah, I, I... I feel like it's like me and Hatchet versus Bookworm and Gaderna. <laughs> I don't think Gaderna's here. Do you mean Chu? <laughs> Also, is, is Pikachu voting for me? I would imagine. Anyway, uh, I know so how to solve my... is Pika. I know how to solve my problem on by continuing the game. There we go. It's just about 7 p.m. and it's already full dark. The house seems quiet. Already full dark. Yeah, there's gonna be- I think there's like some word errors. I think there was like some word errors. Yeah, you bet- you bet there are some word errors, Bright. Shush. I- I meant- I was thinking grammar, but my mind went no. Word, word errors. errors. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Raj, the woman who called you back after you- you sent in your application, Asked you to be here by 7:30 p.m. and had been particular that you be on time. Miss Raj told you that she and her husband, Dr. Raj, were going out for the evening, and she didn't want their daughter home alone. The fact that the girl is 12 and requires a sitter indicates there may be some issues here. Or it could be that the child doesn't like being alone going at home after dark. That's quite normal. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this game has a lot of, like, subtextual ableism. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't they say 12-year-old? Yeah, tw yeah, like, the, the, this person's first inclination when they hear that a 12-year-old needs a sitter is something may not be right implying a mental illness. Even though I feel like that's really fucking normal for a child. Sure. Eh, I, I think instead, it's this grown ass adult for... was like, ha, skill issue. Yeah, like I, I like I think it's probably abnormal for like a twelve year old to need a sitter, but like yeah, just the immediate oh perhaps <laughs> like like they even went on to speculate maybe they just don't want to be alone. Like their first thought is, hmm. Maybe this child is an arsler. And then the and then they thought or maybe they're lonely. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this child has an anxiety. Also, how many people are voting for me? <laughs> it's almost at a thousand, which is the oh, highest it's fuck. ever gotten. I feel the like there's fuck? definitely more than two people voting for me. Wait, there's a single vote on no one who <laughs> voted for no one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Oh my god, it's past a thousand. It's the highest it's ever been. It's can, over 9,000. more people vote for Q? Please, more people vote for Q and less for me. Why I do I have 
Why do I have more votes than Bright? <laughs> I have no idea. How am I not on that poll? <laughs> That's true. How are you not on this poll? Uh, cause, uh, they're, they're a child. That's all. That's all information you need. Sorry, Chew. I, I have abandoned helping you so that I can put more votes on Bright so that I don't have more votes than Bright. Uh, time's almost up. Oh shit, Jiri's almost to a thousand too. Oh man, I'm oh fuck. Better hurry. Oh Jiri wins. Jiri gets the fuck. <laughs> Bookworm contributed Eight. 800. Bookworm voted 806 channel. <laughs> voted 806 times. <laughs> uh, we should we should all agree that Bookworm should take a break and go put his thumb or finger into uh, a, like a, a thigh spat. <laughs> Please, that poor finger. I don't know why I said that. All of the <laughs> away. all of the illegal stuff Hold says on. Bookworm. Or an auto Bookworm put so many points into that. I thought there were three people voting for me. Wait, bookworm question. Do you have an auto clicker perchance? Gen I'm pretty sure that if you click too fast, it doesn't register them. Yeah, but you can still use an auto clicker. It just takes like a moment or two to register it. Uh, bookworm's on mobile. Oh! Please put your all. finger in an ice bath! Please! They said it doesn't hurt at all. So it yes. wait. What's the correlation between? It's a lot being... easier to click on mobile than it is on computer. Yeah, that's true. Point. But also, that that that's gonna hurt. And anyway, that was that was an aside. Uh, Jerry's getting bonked for no good reason. Let's continue. Hold on, I I, I have the, I'm getting food, so I forgot to oh. eat dinner. How long will you take? Uh, I just have to open it. It's. It's sealed shut. It is pissing oh. me off. <laughs> oh, okay. I was thinking you had to get up and go get something. Because if you did have to get up and go get something, I would go get coffee. Are you eating food out of a can? No. Okay, that's good. Why? Why do you say that as if it's abnormal? Fair. It seems like a fairly common thing. Soul! I have done nothing else. What? You have done nothing else? At least 149 dead following Stampede during Halloween festivals, uh, festivities in Seoul. What the fuck is going yeah. on? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> what happened? I tried, to give, I tried to give Jiri a redemption. <laughs> What'd you try to do? Look at Twitch. There's the new poll. Oh. <laughs> Should Dragon be bonked? <laughs> Let me guess. All the answers are yes. There's... Uh, upper, all uppercase, yes. Oh, wait, no, there's, uh, Y, uppercase, everything else, lowercase, yes. There's Y and E, uppercase, and then S is lowercase, yes. There's all uppercase, yes. There's all uppercase, yes, with three, ele three ele e exclamation yeah, points. And then finally, the, fi the, the, the last one is bonk, Jerry. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone's gonna vote the last one. Nah, there's currently t uh, 239 votes on the yes with three exclamation points. Anyway, Mr. Raj said. Oh, wait. Hold on. Got food in my mouth. Mr. Raj sounded like a very exacting kind of parent. The type who is m very mindful of every aspect of her child's care. She asks you a lot of questions about your background and your qualifications. She seemed pretty finicky. Yeah, um, 
Are we gonna start out by just trying to be the biggest asshole possible? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that's the character, not you personally. Just the character is this big asshole. Well, we make the I choices like for that. the character. Huh? We make the choices for the characters, so oh. we're we we are the character's brain. So you guys are choosing for them to talk magic. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's a visual novel. Oh. Yeah. The only visual novels I like are the romance novels. Pretty women. Of course, dragon. Anyway. <laughs> Child, I hereby revoke your lungs' right to oxygen. <laughs> Why? What did I do? Okay, you don't... talked. Okay, fuck? I'll. Penguin is a good kid. They're just curious. I'll be Hold right on, back. Hatchet. I just forgot a spoon. I I'll do a procedure for you. No, no touching the child. Very good. <laughs> no the more air for you. Innocent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dragon. <laughs> Why'd you say I'm sorry, Dragon, and then immediately mute them again? I didn't mute them. Oh, that... Uh, Pika? <laughs> Pika. <laughs> that was not me, Dragon. That's not me. Who keeps muting them? Fuck you. I think Pika's doing that. That has to be Pika. <laughs> Pika, that's mean! <laughs> anyway. Put a kid, Pika! Don't blame Put shit on me! <laughs> Pika, the child is randomly being muted by someone that isn't bright and that would. Uh... I'm working on nowhere to do bibliography right now. Bibliography right now. Well, then who else would be muting Jerry? the child? No, I, I'm poking around on percent orange juice. Well, it's, it's... I was planning to walk off to get a spoon. Well, it's definitely some uh, staff member, but it's not me. <laughs> yeah, that was it's just not a me. Random... Uh, why would I mute them in the middle of saying don't pick on them? Wait, that choose... sounds... <gasps> Yeah. Pika, or don't mess with the... So I say one thing and they do the exact opposite. Is that it, Pika? <laughs> I will simply note that currently uh, there is a funny number of votes on Bonk Jiri in the poll. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck. How dare you? <laughs> Wait, you just I voted to bonk be yourself. A dirty number? Wait, you just voted to bonk yourself. One vote to bonk myself specifically, so I wouldn't be a dirty number. It is no, but you see, yeah, but you see, that also means that you consent to the bonk. Therefore, I bonk. do not consent to any bonking, and you know it. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, bonk the bonk theory is now going up now. <laughs> It again. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. We almost had 96. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. You can't blame her, really. These days, most parents, particularly the rich ones, pay a lot of attention to their child's upbringing. So they're fucking normal? It is the nature of our times, and it pays to be vigilant. <laughs> I, huh? Since you've been registered with the Guardian Angel Child Care Agency for the last three years, you've got good references. So you are pretty confident you you would get the gig. It pays well, too. Oh, yeah. We're not called babysitters. We're called child minders. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind the child. I don't consent to any touching of any kind. That's fair, Jerry. <laughs> oh, that's fair, Jerry. That's fair. That, that means everyone vote for Dragon to be bonked. Oh, I 
you try to hug me, I'll ignore your fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay, actually, I have an idea. Instead of bonking me, you should all agree to buy me a pet possum. No, we're, we're bonking you. What? Oh. What kind of compromise is that? <laughs> Good one. Jerry, that makes sense. That, that We understand. That's why everyone must vote for Dragon to be bonked. Well, I don't, I don't agree to be, I don't agree to be touched by the baseball bat. No, Fine, we'll get you, we'll get you a baseball bat with nails. No, that's no worse. hurting the child. No hurting the child. <laughs> Gentle bunks no with gentle things, like bunk them with candy or something. Or a foam <laughs> baseball bat. Or a softball bat. I have a really heavy uh, sword my dad made back in high school. That's not soft! I could I, I could hit you with the duct taped handle. I have a a, a giant wood plaque uh, that, that's cut out the shape of uh, Virginia that I did, that I hit child with. Why? <laughs> but also, fa fair jury, sorry if I triggered you there. Yeah, that, that's fair. I, I wasn't uh, meaning to. Well, I wasn't expecting voting to go back on me. I typically don't try to talk about it, but... That's fair. No, that's fair. Well, sorry. if it makes you feel any better, uh, Dragon's winning on being bonked. Draw. I put the drawing into finger paintings, and this is what I get? Yes. yes. Fuck you. Anyway. Well, you're here. You're about half an hour early, which you hope is not too early for them. You'd better ring the doorbell to let them know you're here. Ah, Richard Nixon. Oh yeah, I'm I'm talking now. Okay. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, I gotta get the guy in the character. The way that I get into Nixon voice is by imagining a line from a cutscene in a COD Zombies game. It sounds like someone's breaking in. Okay. Take two action. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You must be the babysitter. I mean, child minder. <laughs> doesn't sound right. I'm the child. Uh, okay, everyone bonk dragon. Is there a bonk dragon? Redeem? <laughs> I did an expect I guess thing. we can do Y, y dragon. There you we go. <laughs> no, Bokemon bonk dragon. <laughs> Wait, the entirety of the 690 channel points was all- was the entirety of yes. In all of yes. Nah, it 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 wouldn't have been only bookworm. I was also voting on yes. No, but the uh, I know, but the coincidence is funny. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh God, how do I say his name with the Nixon Raj. voice? Well, I know how to say his name. I'm saying it like, how do I say it with the Nixon voice? Uh, I'm Dr. Raj. My wife told me you would be here. <laughs> You're early. That's great. You come in. He steps aside. And you walk into the house. This lounge area overlooks the lawn and a pool through tinted black windows on your left. The floor underfoot is real wood and the furniture looks like it costs a fortune.
I'm so glad we found you on such short notice. Such kick. Huh. Shreya, that's my wife. Was quite worried we wouldn't be able to get a sitter on time. What the fuck is it about doing voices that immediately makes me start yawning? I don't, I don't get it. Every time I start doing voices, it's like my body immediately starts rejecting it. These people are rich. Anarchist win. Wait, what the fuck? What is going on in chat? <laughs> Anarchist windows? What are you talking about? This guy's a chair this this guy's a chairman at a hospital and they live in an upper class neighborhood. Oh. I I don't think the windows are tainted tainted tinted black. I think it's just the fact that it is nighttime. <laughs> the windows have done messed up things. They've been tainted. <laughs> They're tainted, yes. Tainted windows. Anyway, Sorry, let me try my this. Bad. I looked to the windows. What? They've killed many birds. <laughs> That's what they did. Uh. Anyway. Hey. No, because I thought the guy's eyes were really fucked up, and I'm pretty sure that's the shine on his glasses. Yeah, I got tricked by that yesterday, too. Oh shit, I can what make the, the game smaller. Anyway. You see, I got an invitation to speak at a late evening segment of a medical converse. Oh god, every- Like, this- this is- I don't know what it is about this sentence, but every time I try to say it, my brain just starts melting. Segment of a medical convention that. just two days ago, so the whole situation came about rather abruptly. Maybe you can't say it right because it makes you sound like a nerd. Shreya is very. You want to talk? Shreya is very particular about in whose care we leave Maya, our daughter. We had a bad experience with our last sitter. She's very cautious when it comes to Maya. You sense a mild apology in his tone. Oh, now we get a choice. Yeah, so we we can let, let's even be dickheads to the parents as best we can. So I go with the first fired. one. Shreya is fiercely protective of our daughter. As we rightly ought to be. I'm glad you gained her confidence. I'll go in and tell her you're here. Excuse me. She's just getting ready. Why do you sound like Walter White? <laughs> I guess that's another thing. I'm trying to do Nixon. You went so far to like the fucked up people that you accidentally <laughs> just reinvented Walter White. Actually, didn't uh, Nixon invent, not invent, but like do something about drugs? Yeah, Nixon started the drug war. Yeah, you went so far the into the drugs. drug war, you became the drug what? dealer. <laughs> Technically, he specifically started the drug war to uh have an excuse to be racist yes yeah. the the, the uh, just just fun little uh if if someone here somehow doesn't know this because we're in a pretty progressive chat uh uh yes the war on drugs was literally just a lampshaded way of trying to cage up black people so that you can continue to use them like slaves 
that's basically all the war on drugs was actually designed to do. Which yeah, is so... inmates are literally free labor. No, because the thing is, the 13th Amendment already had that, so it's like, he just doubled it down. What? The 13th uh, Amendment didn't end completely slavery. Well, yeah, like, like he was basically using the 13th, like, to do that. Yeah. Anyway, oh, Chu says, America hating black people? I never would have guessed. <laughs> yeah, wow, that is so surprising that America hates minorities? Oh my god, who would have known? Such a shocker. What the hell? What's going on? My, my parents are doing something with a cat, and a cat is making a weird sound that distracted me. Anyway. I'll then grab my coat and head out to the car. Why so I'll see you that? next when we're back. Like, I don't know. Don't ask. I'm trying to think. Like, try to get back to the original Nixon voice. Sounds like someone's breaking in. I need to do lower. Lower voice. It was a pleasure meeting you. Do make yourself comfortable. Treya will be out in a second. I'm going to go do my racism elsewhere. What the fuck? Oh, yes, I am Richard Nixon. My friends call oh, me Dick. You, you still just sound like Walter White. <laughs> sound like slightly younger Bernie Sanders. I'm trying to do Nixon. <laughs> you are not doing good. Shut up. Please. Hold please on, seek a day job. <laughs> Hold on, Hatch. I know how to fix your problem. No. Hey. Here, go let on. me YouTube.com. I'm going to go listen Free to a me. voice clip from Nixon. All right, I'll go to animation while you're doing that. We'll go Hello. listen to a voice clip from Nixon and see if I can mention it. <laughs> she said you sound like a slightly younger Bernie Sanders. <laughs> and then she says, what is this stream? Okay, but genuine thing. Uh, did, did they draw, like, did they trace, like, an actual human being for this guy? Because he has some things that look like they just traced off of a picture, but then it also kind of looks like, like, a 13 or 14 year old just like freehanded it like freehanded a person from their brain mm -hmm. wrong? what is wrong with his arms let's see I'll listen to Richard Nixon's resignation speech technically Penguin the issue with the arms would be less with the arms themselves and the torso the torso well, no, I was going to say it's the shoulder. Like his face if you looks notice, right. Like that's fine. The shoulder, the they don't have the, the ball of the shoulder shoulders. where the arm connects to the torso. So literally a chunk of the shoulder is missing. Also, also on the, for the, I think it's left, the left arm. For the left arm, uh, the chest doesn't go up high enough to kind of like to separate the arm from the shirt, so it looks like the shirt continues on in like one thing. Like the face looks fine, and then you get down to the shirt, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's a man in a half suit. Yeah. I like to minion I like to imagine that he's wearing minion shorts. <laughs> it's his voice is kind of like a perfect in between between the two voices I did. <laughs> Come 
Do people Did observing? you know that every visual novel character that does not show the legs or like the bottom half is wearing uh, minion minion shorts? Go to your room. My <laughs> so where my desk is set. Okay, so I, I listened to a bit of his of his resignation speech, and I have come to the conclusion that his voice is a perfect in between between the two voices I was doing. This dragon. Can we turn? So I think I'm just going to stick. I think I'm just going to stick with my original voice, so I sound a little <laughs> less like I'm trying to slander Bernie Sanders. Wait one moment. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this guy, and I want I want to do one thing. What did you want to do, Dragon? I want to. Do, I want it. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's the last time I was gonna do that. Anyway, <laughs> but like Dragon wants to wait to do something, so I guess we're having the way. Fuck. Uh, no, I'm drawing something. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, okay, then let's continue. Wait, I just realized the game. For some reason the game on stream got shorter. Or how long that happened. Mm -hmm. Alright. Gotcha. Didn't you say you could do something to make like the game smaller? Yeah, but it stayed normal till after I came out of intermission. That's okay, that's weird. Anyway. It was a pleasure meeting you. Do make yourself comfortable. Shreya will be out in a second. Matt, you know what? That's what I'm going for. I'm going for Nixon after he's smoking like 25 packs of cigarettes. That's huh? that's the voice I'm going for. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. We need we need to make more crystal Supreme Court. What? We need to cook. Okay. Supreme Court, I tell you, we we need to we need we need to cook up some crystal Supreme Court. I I, I I I tell you. You know what? I can't do the stream well enough if I don't drink some vodka. Supreme Court, we need to uh, get get rid of bright vodka. We need to start. We need. We need to start the Red Scare Supreme Court. Nixon was around <laughs> during the the Red Scare, right? The Red Scare started like decades before him. Eh. Like. We need to continue the Red Scare. I am. I am very Red Scare. <laughs> <laughs> I am scared of the red. The color red because my ex, that was my ex wife's favorite color. I'm scared of red. My ex-wife, she was a communist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the thing that I'm drawing, uh, it's just an edit of the, the dad, but... <laughs> Let me just say it's a masterpiece. I see. Anyway, are we ready? Right? I need to turn that more. Oh yeah, right. I see it too. Right. I feel like. Are you okay? Are you? Oh, like... did you have to go like get, get up and to go get the vodka? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's get the shit out of me. What happened? Oh. I'm not sure if you heard it, but. When I had the top in, I guess the carbonation wasn't fully getting out. So as soon as I op opened the top to drink my drink, a huge pow that came out. Uh, it's got the shit out of me. It just got the shit out of me. The consequences of your actions. Supreme Court. Dr. Breitzman shot Supreme Court. Okay, so I did get it correct with how much... Uh, Vodka I put in this drink now. Good to know. So you had to go get up to get the vodka. 
Yes. I don't have a vodka sitting at my desk. Why wouldn't you? It seems like every time you talk about vodka, it's just completely randomly. I would be surprised if you didn't have vodka. Because you have to have you vodka in a freezer. Do you? Okay. Get a freezer. Yeah, it's over at the corner of my room. <laughs> well, put it next to your table. No. Hey, just put it... Ne no, wait, that's actually a good idea. Put it next to your... A shit ass computer tower, so it cools off the computer tower. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyway. I feel like I feel like okay, I'm putting this in dump post. I recommend. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I'm not looking at it. Just you said that. No, no, I 100% recommend looking at it. Oh yes, who loves getting <laughs> drunk on stream? Even though you can't get drunk on a stream. What do you oh think? What do you think, Hatchet? Still loading. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you think? It's did Momo. You <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> now this needs to be an email. <laughs> literally no logical through like no thoughts that you put that you voiced that would lead to this <laughs> anyway. you just didn't say anything about it and then did it completely randomly i did say that i was doing something <laughs> well i know that but you didn't say like anything related to the fact that you're going to give the man neko ears yeah. Anyway, let's actually get to the game. Also, I was gonna ask Bray. Um, yeah. Uh, when were you planning to uh, cut off stream? Uh, after one run. After one run. Okay. I mean, last time it took us a while. Yeah, it did take us a while. I was just thinking, like, like, do you have a specific time that you have to get off? No. Gotcha. Okay. That way we can just chill and chat after one run. If we want to. I would probably just be hopping off after that. Bear. I'm gonna be so tired after these voices. Maybe Chu will show me the backrooms things that they wanted to show me yesterday. Well, Chu said that they're going out to work on their uh, assignment. Uh, that's fair. Anyway, Dr. Raj leaves you, and you wait for Miss Raj. Who he referred to as Shreya. He seems pleasant, if a little absent. A rather stark difference to Miss Raj, who sounded formal and humorless on the call. It must be pleasant here during the day. The glass doors on your left, letting in natural light. But now at night, the windows look out into the into darkness, and trees bordering the lawn throw deep shadows. It's understandable now why they would not want their child to spend a late evening alone. The house is large and isolated from its neighbors. The neighborhood it is itself rather lonesome. Children with their active imaginations can easily get distressed after dark in such environment. Every creak and every night sound taking on sinister undertones. Okay. Did you- Hey, lady, did you get breast implants? Please. <laughs> also, also, guess what I did? Guess, guess what I did? You made it an emoji. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, hatchet. Right. Why does she look like that? Yes. Just stop, please. Okay. Uh. Just getting in character for the asshole run. <laughs> <sighs> I barely opened my mouth to the voice and I started chuckling. <laughs> oh no. 
Hello there. <laughs> Hello Why there. Is she we had spoken on the phone. Oh, she's a, a Cindy, Cindy Karen voice. <laughs> Thank you for being early. I appreciate that. She supports Brexit. I 100% believe. I'm well, not I'm British. British. Well, I guess it's not morning. Yeah. As, okay? an, as a Nand, my husband, might have told you, we're attending a medical I'm sorry, convention. I had a lot of cookies earlier. Oh, okay. I don't know. I ate like four. I ate like three cookies earlier, I think. This, this Miss Raj apparently ate some cookies. <laughs> Eerie. Huh? If you're talking to someone else, could you please mute? Sorry. Thank you. Attending a medical convention, and he is one of the keynote speakers for the evening. Nice. The organizers just called us a few minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> that was a yawn. Organized a few minutes ago and told us that the traffic around the convention center is a nightmare and that we should start out early if we wanted to get there on time. But if it's already a nightmare, what the fuck difference would it make? Shut up. <laughs> this is why your husband probably just sleeps on the couch. Yes, I make him. Jesus. I want him to stay on the couch. Jesus. Do I look like someone who's going to share the bed with that man? <laughs> she looks like she would be like, her max amount of warmth would be five degrees. She probably feels like a corpse. Maybe her husband is a necromancer. <laughs> anyway, bright. Yeah. So. N so now we have to leave half an hour earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> the organizers seem so disorganized. Hey, Hatchet, uh, don't read what I wrote, but see what I wrote in Twitch chat. God damn it, Bright. <laughs> oh. What? What do you think? <laughs> Are you really going to say that in front of my lobster-flavored croutons? What? I am shaking my head in disapproval. And I'd I've... like to, sp I'd like to speak to your lungs manager. <laughs> and I threw your croutons in the fire. I would like to say that my lung lungs managers are just my brain. Well, they should fire your lungs. <laughs> That's called smoking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, this is this is the question. Uh, this is a sentence that you guys made fun of me for for a while. Remember, because I didn't know what Ari was. Oh, yeah. awry, I mean. Awry. Yeah. God damn it, Bright. <laughs> it's <laughs> awry. It's it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Jerry, uh, Dragon, if you didn't know, I never once heard the word awry until this game. Oh. Which I still don't understand how. How the hell you had never heard that before, though? Shush. Anyway. Her tone is clipped. She is clearly a woman who does not like it when plan go plans go Ari. Or situations get unpredictable. You need to you mean see a rye? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did that on purpose because that's what I said last stream. Because I've never seen that word before till the, till this game. And then you unintentionally said it again earlier. 
Yeah. Like, like two minutes ago. Yep. I'm really. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm speaking now. <laughs> I'm really glad we were able to find a sitter uh, as an as as as, as mm, on good. such short notice. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's the thing. When I do these, when I do these voices, um, it, they, it's it's not long before they start to short circuit my brain. <laughs> so, uh, shit like that is just going to happen. I know Maya seems quite old to be needing a sitter, but I try to avoid leaving our daughter home alone if possible. Okay, so I understand what house does seem rather foreboding after dark. Yes, children can require supervision even at that age. Why do we be dickhead here? Probably the second one. Yeah. Oh, the second one. I suppose so. Maya's actually quite independent. It's just that she's going through a difficult time right now. Wait, do I still have my slave save spots? Yes, I do. I have all of them. Oh God. <laughs> I'm You're sorry. So I'm sorry to hear that, or how so? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's just way too polite for what we're going for. Force me to Number tell everything 15. that happened. <laughs> Wait, I could have made the dad chills. <laughs> I can make the dad chills. No. no. I can make the child chills. No. 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 I'll make the child chills. That'll be my job. So you're gonna voice the child too? Yes. I've decided I, that. I feel like as the child, I should voice the No, child. fuck you. I want to voice the child. Number 15. Can you actually do a better chills voice than me? No, but because the fact that I am the child, I should voice the child. Your logic has Why did you, you just turn... Why did you just turn Russian in the middle of that? <laughs> <laughs> or German. Like, you started sounding like East European. <laughs> well, we recently moved here from another state about six months ago. Anand, and, 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 uh, 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 my husband got an offer. <laughs> Anand got an offer to be a director at the NHU hospital. We wanted to stay together as a family, so, <laughs> so we packed up and shifted our lives. Hey, had you before you continued, there's something I gotta tell you. Okay. You do realize anyone can upload emojis to the server, right? Wait, seriously? Yes. How do you... You just go to server settings, like click on the name and hit server settings, hit emoji, upload emoji. I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I, I, I was waiting. I thought you knew, and you just wanted permission. Wait, so servers? Wait, how do I do this? All this right, is you really see, important. You see how it says the Great Doctor Bright server at the top? Yeah. Click it, and you'll see okay. server settings. Uh, sir, I, I don't see that. Wait, is it different for people who aren't the owner? I'm guessing it has to do with being the... <laughs> okay, Dragon, how did you upload it? <laughs> I think it'll what? be... Uh, how did you upload the, the cat boy emoji? Just now. How did you I'll do it? I'll never tell you my secrets. Dragon, we need to... actually the... made it that. Dragon, how did you try to upload an emoji? 
That's what oh, I need okay. to know. Uh, go to server settings. Go <laughs> well, to emoji. I, well, I can't. I don't have that. <laughs> Seems like a skill issue, not gonna lie. Obviously, you have to pay five dollars to me directly into the palm of my grubby little penguin hands, uh, and then you unlock the emoji button. Right, please silence the child. Oh, no, please, I like speaking. No, <laughs> Do you have like a certain role that's keeping you from doing that or something. Is no? The, there's no the way the child has like a special server role that I wouldn't have, right? No. I mean, child god is one, but no. No, I've already, I, I've always had the ability to upload emojis. So, okay, Dragon, where did you get server settings? Like, explain how to get there for Hatchet. Uh, okay, so you see at the top, it says the great, uh, great Dr. Bright server. Click that. Yes, Go down. It's, it's click not server in there. settings. It's not in I can, there. I can, I can only, I can only go to emoji and stickers, but no overview for the server itself. So I can't change the server's name, or like at inactivity times or anything like that. Okay, let's I just go to an admission while I'm dealing with this. Yeah. And yeah, and stickers. Yeah, I that's, just, that's I can just can't. Work. I just can't see server settings. It could be that one of Dragon's roles is higher, so it allows them to have this thing, and it could be the D-class issue. The D-class role doesn't allow the, the emoji thing, maybe? I don't know. I gotta find D-class. D dash. Thank you. Because the thing is, I've already uploaded many emojis before in the past. Like, Allow members to add or remove custom emoji and stairs to the server. Okay. Am I gonna Save lose my settings. Place? I'm gonna lose oh, my Now I see it. Now. Server settings. Okay, so yeah, that was the problem. Because D-Class didn't have that ability. Oh, the child wasn't made D-Class? They should be? Or, or one of their roles is higher than that and it allows it which is another thing yeah they have the d-class it's possibly that one of the roles has has that ability it's Upload obviously image. where did child. i put that where did i put that are you gonna do the uh, bird thing saved images what do you think i'm gonna do <laughs> i can remove it you know well yeah but we need to have this emote it is necessary we already have a bird emote what yeah we have duck no, that's not that's not the same. <laughs> what do you, you? We also you have high? we also have a ch uh, chimkin with a knife. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that predates the the bright meme. <laughs> Book horses. How about we pay you with a shiny rock instead? There we go. Brightburg. <laughs> Hate you. Perfect. Right verb is now an emoji. I, I was I thought you knew and you were just waiting for permission. No, I didn't I, I've literally never done this. <laughs> right verb. Yes. Right verb. It's finally an emoji. We can react to polls with bright verb. My life is complete. I hate you. I promise I won't overuse it. Anyway, let's let's go back to. The I'm surprised you didn't react with shrimp to my recent, like you know, an announcement thing, like you did with the previous one. <laughs> um, I should have thought to do that. Why didn't I do that? Well, you didn't. Well, I don't need to use shrimp anymore. Oh, for fuck's sake. Add reaction. I'm still gonna use shrimp. I like the shrimp. <laughs> okay, you know what? We can we can do both. There, I reacted with both the bright burb. Alright.
Anyway. Yeah. That's so, it. So, uh, we, we ready? Yeah. Okay. It was a rather abrupt change for Maya. You know, Good. yawning. You know, leaving her old friends, her old life, the home she grew up in. She's taking it a little... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I should not have said it like that. No. Bad, evil thoughts. She hasn't made... <laughs> Th thanks, Bookworm. <laughs> She hasn't made any friends at her new school. She spends a lot of time alone. Oh, I forgot to make this an announcement at the beginning of stream. Uh, yes, I only have to edit down two streams, but the reason I have off tomorrow is because I will be streaming from 6 a.m. to 9 o'clock at night on Halloween. Ah, uh, I all need to sleep. <laughs> All the way to nine o'clock, so you'll be, damn. Yeah, it's long. That means I. Room. That means I won't be there for like half of it. Well, I might stream longer. It depends on how it goes. Um, make it a subathon. <laughs> no, because I have work the next day. Oh. Yeah. Who it's needs a Halloween work? Halloween subathon, where Who you don't—it needs... doesn't add any time or anything, but you just stream. And earn who, subs to do like listen, certain listen. dumb shit. Who needs a job when you could be doing a subathon? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hatchet. Fuck capitalism. <laughs> and, uh, God. The, uh, oh, Bookworm's gonna be there the entire time. Because they're all following. <laughs> Based. <laughs> Uh, my number one fan will be there. <laughs> Anon feels guilty about it because we we moved for his work, but the dick, the dick I, I almost read it as dictatorship. But the directorship at the NHU hospital is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was only right for him to accept it. Hatchet, remember last stream I said the exact same thing? Yeah, I, I know. That's why I brought attention to it. That's hilarious. My husband's a dictator. <laughs> yeah. My husband writes gay fan fiction to the uh, United oh ex United States president. As dictator, I will replace uh, all uh, English writing classes with fan fiction classes. <laughs> right, that is literally just English class. It's just a worse English class. <laughs> no, that's actually just literally regular English class. Except that you don't, uh, you won't be graded up on grammar issues. Was. You'll be graded on how well the ship is. <laughs> My husband ships ex-president Donald J. Trump and ex-president Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Problematic actual... daddy's ooh-woo. But in all actuality, oh, my... God. But in all actuality, my husband ships Joe Biden and President Trump. No, but, but actually, there are fan fictions online between Trump just, and Biden. Just, 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 no. <laughs> Bookworm says, you... why not Reagan? Trump x Reagan. You see, that would work better, <laughs> but I've been talking about nothing but Nixon. Why are we getting into shipping wars with Donald Trump? What about Trump x Putin? That's... that's I'm marking a... all these down. Okay, so we have that's Trump a... x... No, back up. That's such a basic ass ship. Everyone does that, right? <laughs> Everyone. Saturday Night Live does that constantly. He's just a mainstream shipper. Fucking. <laughs> uh. Trump X for your next Oh, God. 
Oh, no. Okay, so there's Trump x Biden, Trump x Putin, Trump x Kim Jong Un, Trump x Nixon. Any more? We need to stop. We need to stop. Uh, I I did, I I ended it, but actually I don't think you'll like my ending. You ended it? Oh come on. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher X Margaret Thatcher too. <laughs> She's just looking in a mirror. Oh, that's the ship. Maya's behavior doesn't make it easier on him. So couple that with her overactive imagination and it can get a little stressful. Change we are for Chosen SH. What kind of behavior are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, what kind of behavior? No, that's kind of sounds like a drug dealer. Instead of drugs, they're talking about what kind of behavior we're talking about. What kind of behavior we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, except she is narcissist. <laughs> Isn't that just regular Margaret Thatcher? I don't think she died by staring at herself for so long. No, but she did die in a bowl of cereal, so I think that counts. Wait, for a narcissist, didn't he, like, break a, a spirit's heart or something like that, and that's what caused him? I don't, I don't remember the exact thing. I know he, like, then did it... something that pissed someone off. Yeah, Echo. And Bookworm says, yeah, Echo. But okay, I was right. I don't remember these things. All, all I know about Narcissus is he's that one guy who stared at himself for so long that he died. Well, In it's... mythology, Narcissist was... Uh, well, first you have to talk about the nymph Echo. They uh, basically yeah. said that they loved him, and he basically said that she wasn't beautiful enough for him. She basically, uh, well, I think that's how it went. Let me just look it up to be sure. Oh, it should probably continue. Yeah, go ahead, Hatch. Oh, Jerry's looking it up. Well, it's nothing serious, really. Please don't misunderstand me. Mai's a wonderful child. In fact, she's very bright for her age. Which may be part of the problem. My child's so smart, she gives us issues. She's thoughtful, she reads beyond her years, and she's surprisingly mature for her age. It's just as it does. It's starting to sound like an old woman when you were yawning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that six star. I should come to terms with the wolf a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm sounding like the janitor. Yeah. <laughs> it's thoughtful. <laughs> she this is just the janitor. This is just the janitor. They went through transgender surgery. <laughs> and she's surprisingly mature for her age. Oh. What bags? I don't see no bag. <laughs> and on four, oh wait, <laughs> after doing the janitor voice, my brain is busted. <laughs> Literally to do the janitor voice, I have to do a gigantic grin at all times. <laughs> Like, I have to have this big goofy grin on my face to probably do the voice. It kind of hurts. Anyway. Oh, and okay. I'm sorry. Oh, oh go, go ahead. You found the answer? I looked it up, and apparently uh, Echo was a beautiful nymph who was a very good singer, and a few guys chased her that she shunned, but one of them was Zeus, 
So Hera cursed her despite that she shunned Zeus's advances. She was one of the few women that Zeus did not tap at any point. And, uh, why do I have to say that like that way? Um, anyway, she fell in love with Narcissus, but because of uh, Hera's echo, she could only basically say the first or last thing another person said last, so she could never admit her feelings to Narcissus. And uh, she eventually got so sad following him around that she... Well, died, I'm guessing. Huh? That she died? Yeah, she basically... She basically died. I see. And what? And, uh, uh, oh. Narcissist died by looking into a pool, seeing his own reflection, and, you know, falling in love with it. So he stayed there. Oh, wait, so no god got pissed? Flower. Wait, so no guy got pissed off at him? At Narcissus? Yeah. Oh my! So One moment. Let me turn my alarm off. Oh, Aphrodite cursed him. If I remember, said bookworm. So I, I, I swore someone got pissed off at at Narcissus. He's just too dense to pick up on the fact that this nymph that keeps following him around has a thing for him. Oh, Echo was apparently not the only person that Narcissus had fallen for them. Oh. Oh! One young, uh, one young man fell in love with him, and when he, Narcissus turned uh, that boy down, he committed suicide in the guy's doorway. Jesus Christ! Wait, no, because when the guy died, uh, didn't he get turned into, like, a type of flower? Amenius? I could look up Amenius to see if that's a flower, but... Probably not. But, uh... Narcissist is a type of flower. I don't know if... Yeah, so... Yeah, no, it does not look like it is a flower. It is just the name of that dude. The dude who was fragile and young and had fallen in love and killed himself because he was rejected badly. I'm sorry, but in the stories, Narcissus wasn't exactly known for spurning people nicely. He was just kind of a dick to anyone but himself. I'm surprised no one tried to kill him. You should be avoiding... Oh, oh you're uh... right. Sorry for saying that word. Yeah, it's fine. That word's for Twitch. Yeah. So, uh, so we we know what happened to both of them. Yeah. Just the original kill your gaze trope. I'm pretty sure there was stories before that. It's it's not it's not really a barrier gaze trope when, like, the 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 conceptualization of homosexuality just didn't exist in their culture. It was a completely Yeah, different... also uh, Narcissist was not gay in general. He just loved himself. Fair point. He, he spurned males and females alike. The only thing that could uh, get him up, I guess, was himself. Okay, before we get back to the game, there's actually one ship that I saw on YouTube which was Medusa x Perseus. <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the game. I don't know much about either of those characters. Perseus killed Medusa, if I remember correctly. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> That's where the Pegasus came from, and also one other monster, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Anyway, Hatchet, let's continue the game. 
Let's get the asshole ending. <laughs> and unfortunately, she's expressing her distress in rather discouraging ways. She's being a child. How so? Or children generally act out their inner turmoil when they can't talk about it. Second well, one, she, second one, second well, one. she, hold up, she, she liked it when we said that yesterday, so just say it how so. Got it. She's struggling with a lot of emotions. She needs to be less emotional. God. <laughs> she's just turning 12, so she's on the cusp of her teenage years. She's in, she's in a new school, and... And and, and and you know how difficult school can be at that age. Hormones, boy. <laughs> oh my god. Hormones, boys, and all the rest of it. I wouldn't even consider that she'd like girls, because I assume she's straight right off the... And then I wonder why she never talks to me. Why does my daughter hate me? <laughs> it's not like I ignore her every thought. Why does she constantly have have uh, ask me to have one of her friends over? I don't get it. Wait, that doesn't work because there's the woman in the basement. Wait, no, that's bad. No, you'll you'll find out. And that that, that name breaks my brain every time. Anand and I are busy for much of the day, but we try to talk her up. Ta ta ta. <sighs> but we try to talk to her about her feelings whenever we can. That's not been going too well. We keep disregarding her feelings. <laughs> there goes Jerry. The problem is, she refuses to speak plainly about her feelings. Instead, she makes up outlandish stories and lets her imagination run amok. And she tries to draw us into her morbid, make-believe tales. Any word from Jerry? No, I think they just want to leave. Uh, okay, honest. wait, before you start talking again, I, no. I told my friend about the Trump shipping war, and uh, they they mentioned a ship that is better than all of your ideas and all of your ships, and it's uh, it's uh, Trump X Shrek. Okay. Is Jerry okay? They probably just went to leave. Fair enough. Or Shrell. <laughs> Shrell? Bookworm misspelled Shrek. Her counselor... Her, her counselor says it's a coping mechanism. And a kind of stress response. Adopted by bright children. Possibly a way to get attention. Perhaps a way of telling us that she wants to leave and go back to her old life. But we all know she's just an attention-seeking little brat. What a nice way to talk about your kid, lady. I love my daughter. She's just a little... Uh. She's just a little attention whore. But despite <laughs> being 12... What's troubling is that she's never been this way before. She norm she she normally not an attention seeking child. And then it just so happens that when we move here, and specifically she has a traumatic incident, that's when she starts acting differently. I don't understand. <laughs> Third option. Instead of these, call Shrek. He can deal with it. Oh, God damn Obviously, it. Shrek I... is an amazing therapist. I don't know what you're on about. God damn it. I, I, I was looking at the stream, not the... Not the actual thing. Oh, Counselor really? Probably right. Yeah, now I'm back. 
anything I should be... Uh, 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 her counselor is probably right. Yep. The bottom one's way too considerate. I think so, too. She can be a little moody at times. That's all. And she might, if you probe well, try to scare you with some of her stories about this house, for example. Uh, I'd say what kind of stories? Oh, what kind of stories? Yeah, I can handle being told stories. Kind of implies like, like you're trying to reassure her. Nah, you should just be as neutral as possible when you can't be an ass. Yeah. Just silly juvenile stuff. The kind kids tell each other when they gather around a campfire and try to scare each other, I suppose. You know what? All this talk of Shrek makes me want to watch Shrek after this. <sighs> I keep thinking of the clip. You think he's compensating or something? <laughs> Sorry. She may have overheard something from this house. My head hurts. She may have overheard something about this house, and she's latched onto it and blown it out of proportion. It troubled us how morbid and disturbing her imagination can be. Yeah, before I continue, I forgot, uh, I actually did find some Godzilla movies that I can share in God- in- in Discord. I almost said share in Godzilla. <laughs> you do it Godzilla. Shove yeah. the movies up to Godzilla's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, I I found him. And uh, I can show it at random parts of the year. Or next year, depending on how we feel. Anyway, on to the game. <laughs> I thought it was going to be immediately talking, but nope. Choices. What about this house? Or children love dark stories. Why do you think fairy tales are so gruesome? I guess maybe go with that one. You know, I never thought of it like that. You just might be right. God, there's such bro- Oh God, it's such broken logic. It hurts my brain. What? Who yeah. wrote the who? Grim fairy tales question. written by adults? <laughs> yeah, question. Who wrote the fairy tales? Like you're looking at Brothers Grimm, probably yeah. is what they're thinking about. Who wrote those? A, a couple of grown ass men. Yeah. Who wrote a whole bunch of extremely not safe for kids stuff into those fairy tales. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that's why fairy tales are like what they are because kids like dark stories. Wait, so were their fairy tales the original ones, or they just copy the original ones? They copy the original. No, I think I think the. I I'm pretty sure the Brothers Grimm wrote these fairy tales. Oh, so that so the like, Grimm's brothers are the originals. And... As far as I know, yeah. Oh, okay. Like Cinderella, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty. They're sourced from Brothers Grimm. And all those stories are incredibly fucked up when you look at them from the Grimm's Oh, perspective. yeah. Oh, yeah, Hansel and Gretel as well. I thought those stories were, like, based off of actual, like, stories, though. That, like, folk tales and stuff. I mean, they might have been. They might have been, but, like, the Brothers Grimm would be the people that are most frequently accredited for them. Yeah. And they're the ones that, like, Disney used as a basis. Which is really fucked up. Well, they, they, they took them and, like, looked at the really fucked up shit. Like, maybe we shouldn't include 
uh, Sleeping Beauty having four children while she was asleep by the prince. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't in in include that because it's almost as if there was no consent in that interaction. This is a fairy tale for children. <laughs> and like, they... did I forget to mention the, the? Oh, what? What about? Maybe we should. Maybe we should cut out that part in Cinderella where the the step or cut the, all, uh, cut their yeah the step yeah the, they start hacking at their own feet to try to get their feet to fit in the slipper, slippers. Wait, oh yeah, OG uh, Brothers yeah. Grimm are so fucked. Yeah, it's also, so fucked. Also, didn't like also in Cinderella near the end, like the stepsisters just get their eyes picked out by crows or something like that. Yep. Yeah, the if I remember correctly, yeah, he he had them executed and they they got they got eaten by birds if I remember correctly. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's so fucked. It's so. I, I, oh wait, I actually have a book that tells the original Grimm Brothers stories. Oh really? Yeah, maybe I should do that on horror stream, like an 18 plus horror stream, because obviously I can't say it from a child. <laughs> yeah, like that's the most ironic thing. These are fairy tales that we can't say in front of Dragon. <laughs> that we can't actually read in front of Dragon, because... Because people at the turn of the 1900s apparently thought it was a good story to tell your kids about a lady who was forced to be, be, be asleep and then the prince just comes along and does those things while yeah. she's asleep. Let's continue. Oh, that's, look. A, that's a good story for kids. Look, they're talking about the Grimm's brother stories. Uh... Oh yeah, I've always wondered at how fairy tales are rather gory. Wolves eating grandmothers, woodcutters lobbing off heads. Oh yeah, Rumpelstiltskin. The the like the entire story. Like I read I read Rumpelstiltskin. The entire fairy tale from Brothers Grimm was exactly how I remember it, except the very end, where Rumpelstiltskin gets so fucking pissed that he lost his bet that he literally rips himself in half what the hell they are wait he didn't do that but basically he stamped on the floor so hard that one leg went through everything else stayed up so he just split in half somehow damn um, what the fuck he died right Nah, he, he lived. Nah, he, he survived he getting bisected. <laughs> he survived I don't know. He was magical. I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I I'm pretty sure Rumpelstiltskin. You know, he can bounce back from getting bisected vertically. I mean, he was in sh in one of the Shrek movies, so I mean, he survived somehow. <laughs> He died in that movie, yeah. if I remember correctly. <laughs> At the end, yeah. Different Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> We're talking OG Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, my head hurts. I feel like bright streams just make people lose brain cells. I'm a co-host. How do you think I feel? All right, so now I know how to read the Grimm's Brothers stories by children in later years. Or bedtime stories. Please don't. <laughs> Check it, please don't. Brian. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Okay, in all seriousness, I would prefer you to read uh, Brothers Grimm's stories than force your kids to read those fucking uh it's a certain type of like bible book that i had to read as a punishment as a child along with mother goose stories you gotta oh. read the you gotta read the biblical book <laughs> no because it wasn't even the bible it was, it was like little bible stories i actually i could probably look them up Dr dragon that was a joke from this channel the biblical book oh, instead yeah, of yeah. saying the bible i said the I, biblical okay. book look it's late <laughs> And I'm focusing on many things. 
Alright, so actually I know how we can continue this, the game now. Go ahead, Hatchet. I'm an asshole. And now we're just dead quiet. Hatchet, you good? I I don't, I don't know if I can be doing this. You, you just want to continue this another time or something? Like I can save at any point. I have a didn't say that you can't actually save. Well, like there's no continue button. Well, we're barely into the game anyway. Just, you just want to continue this another time? That might be best. Unless you just want to do all the reading. Do this. Alright. See, that doesn't hurt me at all. Because... Yeah. Because that will probably give me... A little uh, bit more time to just watch Shrek. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a combination of like the past two days being so fucking taxing. That's and that's fair. Doing, and doing voices, my brain's just I I can't physically keep doing this. Yeah, hatchet, I understand like the voice acting thing because like I've done voice act for voice acting for like I think three years, so I understand. <laughs> they can get tiring <laughs> and strained and everything and it, it's just it's a pain yeah. I understand I, I guess bookworm start prepping your last words yeah bookworm last words go let me go pull up my last words wait why, why do you have a list Shush. Also, I have, I have a last words like a, and remember kids list, but I've also stopped using it. Yeah. Also, I I get this message from Team Team Two Buddy. Increase your YouTube rank. First sentence: A D F F G A D S F D A S F D A F A S D F D. View email and browser. Huh? Sounds like a sounds sounds like a trustworthy thing to click on. Yeah. I'd give them, I'd give them my IP address. Hell yeah. Yeah, bright. Why don't you give them your IP address? Instantly deleting it. You should give them your IP address, bright. Yeah. You know what we could do tomorrow? Since I'm not streaming. We can try and hold a meeting on the intro and outro thing if everyone's up to it. Also, is Brooklyn still here? Or, or they're probably just getting a long last words. So that's what it is. Gross, likely. How the fuck does one check? Like, look at who's all in chat. Uh, I think there's like next to Strange Chat. There's this weird, uh, clear man and white man behind them, and you click on it, you can see everything. Unity. See broadcaster moderators. Community VIPs. Yeah, Bookworm's VIP because they're they're the OG channel person. 
I, I, I feel like I have some last words that would probably make Pika slightly upset. Unless you want to end up in a like brother's grim tale, like, comment, any, subscribe, like, and follow Bright uh, on all socials. Bad reasons, also, just... give her money. <laughs> I like to see her like to end up in, in one of the Grim Brothers tales. <laughs> subscribe, follow, and like Bright's content. Also, give her money. <laughs> That's amazing, bookworm. Oh, yeah. And for Hash, since they didn't hear, they typed yeah, it up. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you, bookworm. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is an ultimatum. You either give bright money, or you end up like rumpled stiltskin. What the fuck? Or those if are, you give right money, options. you end up like Ripple Hilt skin anyways. What? No. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you call him? Ripple Tilt Skin? <laughs> Tilt Skin? What? The, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Rumple Stilt Skin. Rumple Stilt Skin. Ripple Tilt Skin? <laughs> hey, Ripple Tilt Skin. It's, it's his younger brother. It's okay. <laughs> Ripple. Ripple. <laughs> New name unlock Ripple Tit Tilt Skin. I almost said Ripple Tit Skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, Dragon, last words go. And remember, a communication error has occurred. Really? That's what I that's the thing that will upset Pika. Or, like, mildly upset him. Don't, don't fucking take my bit. <laughs> I didn't say kids, because Pika isn't a kid. He's a very grown-up man-child. Okay, what was that again, a, a dragon? And remember... If... Huh? What are you typing? And remember... Uh, if you if you talk shit about the cephalopod lesbians, I will come for your kneecaps. Why are you typing? Why I oh, I am very afraid. Uh, uh, how do you spell a curd? Why the fuck would I tell you how to spell a curd? O c c u r d something like that. O c c u r r e d. That's what all the correct said. Uh. I yeah, sent Pika, uh, a communication error has occurred. <laughs> Very good. Alright, Hatchet, last words go. Before my last words, I would simply like to bring attention to my new Discord name. Ripple Tilt Skin. Ripple Tilt Skin. <laughs> I didn't see the L at first, and I was like, are you allowed to put that as your username? Without the L, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could be talking about the bird. Bear. Unless that L is actually an uppercase uh, I. Dragon, shut it's up. An... But yeah, I could be talking about the bird. Yeah. Anyway. But I don't think birds have skin. What? Yes, they do! What are you talking about? What do you think the feathers are attached to? <laughs> Obviously, they're attached to the bones, loser. <laughs> they're attached to both on most large birds, but... <laughs> Dragon, shut the fuck up. No, I actually like uh, talking. I didn't know birds had a skin. Birds don't have nothing. skin. Birds... The bird's skin. The skin on the bird. Did I rename myself bird skin? They don't have any skin. Birds... They don't... Bird... The birds... Are you okay? The bird... I did nothing. Oh, did you... The bird. Are you okay? You broke catch it. I'm sorry. The birds. 
<laughs> All right. A anyway, are we ready for my last words? Well, you can. Uh, well, I mean, you can do my last words. Oh wait, yeah, Hatch you didn't do yours. Sorry, <laughs> Hatch it last words go. And remember, kids, the birds. The the birds. The the uh the, the birds. You good? Uh. The the birds. Are you a person from Birdemic? <laughs> the birds! The birds are coming! Break the birds! Anyway, I guess when you're done, Hatchet. The birds. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm never okay. Alright, time for my last words. The birds. Shut up. What do you call an old snowman? No, bitch water a puddle bones i said the answer water water yeah it's a puddle it's, it melted well, well then that... again it's no well then again that's just the decomposed snowman yeah that's, that's a dead snowman it's not an old snowman <laughs> or gas wait what <laughs> or gas because it, it gets it, it has perspiration or whatever it's called Oh, yeah. Respiration? Respiration. Bright snowmen don't have lungs. They can't <laughs> respirate. I said perspiration. What the fuck did the dragon say? Perspiration? Yeah, that's what I said. What did you, why did the dragon say? I think I said respiration. It sounded like you, said, sounded respiration. Like you said respiration. I said prepspiration. Respiration. <laughs> respiration. <laughs> Shut up. It's okay, Evaporation. Bright, it's okay. Evaporation. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'll just Shut up. It's okay. You can take your time. I got the better. birds. I got better last words. Uh, this is from a YouTube video that I saw. Do you want to have a bad time? Do you wish to have an unfortunate experience? I ask you if you are capable enough to engage in a terrible experience for yourself and I being the cause. I, Sansa Skelton, <laughs> wish to ask you to com comprehend the fact that I will give you an unfortunate time Due to the fact that you ended the lives of whom I care. There you go. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so it stands or doesn't represent Steven after not surviving. It stands for bright but spelt with an S after not surviving. The birds. Sansa Skeleton is, is Jack Wright confirmed. <laughs> I just. The birds. The birds. Oh, the birds. Anyway. They're coming for your brains, Bright. I I hope you D-Class enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time for your next experiment. Where uh, I shove the child in a compactor. See you later. Who, who took the bird's skin?